Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, in this video, we will see how to use a data table feature uh, in Excel to perform what is called as one-way sensitivity analysis. Uh, just so that, you know, we before we perform, let me explain what is this. So here we have a profit calculating model that we have built here, a simple model uh, where uh, we are given some uh, selling price data and variable cost data. So we know that the contribution per unit that is the basic profit you earn is given at 360 and the quantity sold is around 10,000. Okay, so therefore what is going to be a total contribution? Your total contribution per unit if you're earning 360 and if you're selling 10,000 units, so product of both of them, which is D6 into D7, which is 36 lakhs. So that is my total contribution from which I'm reducing the fixed cost of around 20 lakhs. So therefore my operating profit uh, I'm earning is uh, 36 lakhs minus 20 lakhs which is D8 minus D9 we have done. So what is your operating profit ratio? Here it's a little tricky one you need to observe. See, what is my operating profit? Uh, let me write it here. Operating profit uh, ratio. Okay, how do you calculate this? You calculate this as operating profit divided by sales. All right. So what is your operating profit in this case? That I know is 16 lakhs. What is my sales, by the way? The sales is not here. The sales is selling price into quantity sold, isn't it? Okay, so selling price into quantity sold, right? So I'm going to incorporate both of them in one formula here. As you see, I'll let me write it one more time for you. Operating profit divided by open brackets, that is the, within the denominator, I'm opening a bracket and um, quantity sold multiplied by selling price, close the bracket, right? So this gives me operating profit ratio. It's already formatted for percentage. Now, most importantly, what we need to learn in this video is a simple question that I would like to ask is, okay, my variable cost currently is expected to be 600. What if, what if the variable cost is 400? Okay, let's say for example, I'll replace this number with 400 and I see that my operating profit ratio has become 37.5%. Let me enter that here, 37.5%. What if my variable cost is 450? Let me enter that here, 450. And my operating profit ratio is 32.29 percentage. Okay, and what if it is 500? Okay, manually change it, 27.08%, bring it here. Now, if you see, I'm doing it manually and uh, this inconvenience could be overcome by using the data table feature. So let me demonstrate how we can do that in this. So Excel, before you perform any such what if analysis, you need to understand the concept of data table. If the, it's a pre-programmed feature in Excel, which can perform this kind of an analysis. So for all practical purposes, this part, the one which I've selected now is the data table, all right? So right now we are only changing the values given in a column into one cell, correct? That's what is our objective. So therefore it is a one way sensitivity analysis, all right? So here you choose this particular cell. It has to be this cell only, okay? The kind of cell that you select also matters here. If you, you know, perform something which I'm going to tell you in this cell, the data table feature will not work. So here in this cell, link this cell with the resultant cell here. Operating profit ratio cell is my resultant cell, right? So link that and then select this data table. So as you can see, the first cell has to be blank and the second, the, the top second row, second row cell should be, uh, that is within the data table, should be linked with the result cell. And then all your possible values that you think that the input will take should be listed here. Once this is selected, then go to data, what if analysis, data table, right? So it is asking for row input cell and column input cell. Remember this changing variable is given in columns, right? Column input cell. So therefore I'm going to say, in the column input cell, replace these values in this particular cell. I clicked on the cell D5. So what Excel will do is it will perform the same loop that I did. It will put 400 here, get the value, bring it here. This will take 450 here, enter it here, take the value and bring it here and so on and so forth. Click OK. So you see our objective is served here. Okay. I hope this video was useful. Uh, please download the practice file uh, and practice it. And thank you for watching.